uh, Bernie Sanders is still more socialist. He was he was more about let the government help you, and that's what North Korea does. And businesses are not about here. Let me help you. Let me go out of my way to help you. So Bernie Sanders is not a good fit for the United States. Just off of its description. Businesses do not go out of their way unless it's a PR campaign. Promotion of ad campaign to make yourself look good. That's all Bernie Sanders is. He's old and all he does is make himself look good. And all he knows how to do that is by giving other people money because he's what a millionaire and I'm sure he's used to doing that so by if you can listen to me yeah I, I can get what I want and you might might get what you want so Bernie Sanders is in the gifting is he's in gift politics North Korea gift politics Korean style socialist communist we are we do not run our business like a communist. We do not go kill birds out in the street and serve them to you as chicken. We do not do that. That is disgusting. Chinese people do that. And when I heard that story, I was like, huh, must be a Chinese person. Yes. Am I profiling? No. I'm just that damn smart that I just, huh. I wonder who would do such a thing. Hmm. Americans would ever do that, man. Ever. So, yes. Half of the world needs to catch up. You don't kill birds and then serve them on the plate. No, you don't do that. Ever. No. Carries disease. Do you know what that word is? Disease? No. They are verified. We do not run this place like the mob. Check out the Rico. We run the United States like a business. And if whatever you're talking about, that you're trying to say whatever about Trump doesn't really fit into like a boss, like could you get fired? you were talking about your boss like that then maybe you shouldn't say it really because it's no different and if anything Donald Trump is paying your bills he's your daddy you can call him names because that's what you're taught the white supremacy whatever just follow the rules and you ain't got to worry about that but if if you want to be like Joe Olstein's wife and act black on a plane, all you gotta do is be yourself and show what you were born to do. You don't go out of your way to try to fit in. Maybe that's your problem. You try too hard to, to have that job. You try too hard, man. You just gotta show up. Take it easy. Walk, maybe with a limp. People like people like that. People ain't like people who are so difficult to train. They need to retrain and lose money, but they still want a paycheck. How difficult is that? We want people who we don't need to train. We're just naturally so our school systems. May teach you the skills. I don't know what they teach in these days. I think we should get rid of the school systems and start having a program on YouTube where YouTube validates your address basically and if you're a qualified parent and the kid goes to the school district then YouTube will have a button that says promote to the teacher filming act so if you want to become a teacher now you have to 
make decent videos. This is what world Earth is like in 2100. I'm telling you. This is what Earth will be like in 2100. Are you ready? Does all this shit that you're talking about right now match up with what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man. I'm, I am from here. I can tell you shit. So you have a channel on TV. You have in the buses. You, it's and it's running on autoplay. So wherever you go, you're watching it, and you will get taught. If it's all around you, all the damn time, you can't wait for a new show to come out. Man, when will a new show come out? And all you gotta do to wait for a new show to come out is get those votes up on that video. The top 10, top 10 videos. And you just play them on repeat 24 hours a day on the bus. You got, you can go outside and instead of pouring all this endless money to 10 years piddly school teachers we invest in theater parks parks with theaters simple theaters but on posts two big giant posts and a big ass whiteboard and a, two posts back there that have the projector and you got cameras of course with that Facebook technology that can read your effing face and instead of Facebook the government comes by and buys Facebook everyone's got their own page and you're given an allowance based on your good deeds and people come by and they can get thumbs up write a comment and it's all automated so you want more money in life start doing good things for other people and those people your payment is going to come back on your facebook government page with your social or whatever it's it's given to you that's your page yours forever you can type what you want you can but that's your page. You will never get rid of it. That is your ID. That's how the cops can digitally check on you. Because you, you're you not wearing, but you actually got ID, which is attached to a, a real freaking page. And that will, like, automatically take over Twitter. Because that's how you will partially get paid, and that will be how your credibility is added up when let's say you kill someone it would be much easier to find out on a paper trail than hearsay if that really happened so expect that to work in 2100 teachers be ready to stop teaching kids and be ready to be holding a camera or have a camera crew and it's all powered by Google. So Google. It's your future. It's not Skynet. It's Google. And we are all a part of it. Google. And you've got the private sector or the uh, government sector that runs your Facebook page. That's it. You got a problem, just go to your Facebook page, man. You don't need to go to no office. You don't need to go there. You, you're already identified. And that's all it is. And then maybe you have a barcode right here. So when you walk in those cameras, they can verify you. That's your alibi. That's your alibi. Go, 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 go. 
or on your hat, you wear it. That's your alibi. So when you walk in, in the streets, they're like, where were you on October 31st at 3 a.m.? All they got to do is check their records, bro. Do you know how safe this world will be if that ever happened? Still give it all the rights you have now. Nothing's changed. But those two things implemented, that's it. Including this. You walk into Walmart, Walmart reads it. You can't even go to Walmart unless you uh, unless you scan your, your slit wrist. It's got to be here because you can lose all your body limbs. But if you lose this part or even the neck, something. Maybe a, a bracelet, you know, if you don't want to just like scan it. You got a bracelet that you can wear. It's got all of your medical records on it. That would be a benefit to you personally. Because no one gives a damn about what you do or where you set your thermostat. Today they may. Because there's a market for that. And I would love if my thermostat could remember what temperature I set it. I will love it. I will love it if these lights would just dim by itself. I will love it if things would turn off by themselves. I will love it, man. I will love a smart home. And anyone who wants to live in the old out ages, move out of the USA. Keep your mouth shut. I want this life. I, I want this Facebook page. I, wa I want to wear this thing. I want to wear this bracelet. I want those. I want to start watching TV as I ride the city bus. Where is it? I want to vote. The technology is here. Simple shit technology. Simple shit. And do you know who will make it? Not the government. The private sector. The private sector will do that for us. But it's all managed by your damn Facebook page. No one's in the back room calling the strings. You want a new rule Im implemented? Well, your vote is easy as a thumbs up or a thumbs down on your government Facebook page. It's easy, man. Easy. There's no more voting fraud. There's no more going places. There is no more fear of people outside my street that shouldn't be there. There's no more fear of predators of, did you register? You're a sex offender. How many times have we seen that on Live PD and this old grandma having her stack of papers? Yeah, but it's not true. Who gives a shit? Just, just, she's there, right? We know it because she walks around. She went to Walmart yesterday at 2 p.m. Let's go there at 3 because I don't want to see that bitch. So you go there at 3 instead of 2. So everyone can avoid her. Wouldn't that be nice, parents? If you could know where predators were at exa exactly. Wouldn't that make you not want to be a predator? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That would be an incentive not to do that. Hell yeah, man. We know exactly where you are. It's, it's an ankle bracelet everywhere you go. But now you can leave your house, homie. You can go to your friend's house and smoke weed. You could do this and that. And if you want to upgrade your Facebook page, maybe, maybe the government Facebook page could offer you tools to protect yourself <clears throat> from any kind of legal issues. So maybe they would offer you, me, glasses, frames that I could pick out that would monitor everything, not only here, but maybe also a shirt and um, my phone could all be wired up to record everything everything because I want to be here forever and whoever jumps me <laughs> you're gonna get it and they will know who the hell you are because let's just see huh look at that yeah we know exactly who you are so let's just make you starve because you got to pay money with your bracelet and no one's gonna buy you stuff because that would be illegal and the system would know why does this guy need two drinks why does this guy need two drinks two bags of chips and two sandwiches 
It must be doing something illegal. Must be helping a fugitive out. And in that kind of lifestyle, you are trained to behave. You are trained to behave. There is no officers looking out for your ass. You gotta look out for your own ass. The dog eat dog world out there already. But I'd rather have a computer commit me to a crime. Cause that can actually be verified versus hearsay. Yeah. I would rather have that because do I do I deserve jail time or no? Let's just ask Conky. So that's why I see 2100 is. Ain't looking like a junkyard. Like all of you directors. Simple shit, man. Simple shit. And that's the simplest shit alive. That will probably be implemented at 2100. And the more I talk about it, the higher chance it'll happen. But it's okay, I recorded it. I know I do is you put on rotation. I only say it once. So everyone helps each other. Our kids are taught by teachers, which are voted by the school district's parents. And these teachers could be all around the world, but they're just videos that get voted up to the top 10 once it hits the top 10 from your government ID vote system. You can only vote once. You can take the vote away, yeah. And vote for something else. Like, damn, I'm tired of this. Let's go watch something else. The, the adults might actually become smart now. That's cool because then the kids will be just as smart as us. Hell yeah. Like, there won't be no... It's just, you, you're going to start at right here, this education. You're going to watch news. You don't need baby news, pre-news, after news, grade 12 news. You just need news, man. You just need the news. You don't need all that extra shit in there. You don't need ABC. Just put them in front of a television set. How many it people have we heard? They're like, yo, I learned my English from I Love Lucy. How many? How many? That is a way better investment than these cranky ass pedophile teachers. Come on, close. Call my toes. You stay with a smile and always say yes. So keep up. That's what it is, because I clock out. Again, it's a day. Especially the school system, right? For the teens. Teens would rather learn on their own. Why well, go put yourself around a bunch of people you don't like? I do that, man. And from the TV shows I've seen on television, they're way outdated. They still got lockers. Where's the iPad? Technology is the way. Carrying all those books is a physical health risk. When I was young, I carried all my books wherever I went. Maybe that's why I got a bad back. So we should learn from the lessons and my iPad is seriously if I could take one thing with me to heaven it would be the iPad I don't care about anything else I just want my iPad I'm going to take my iPad to heaven with me that's it that's all you need in life man the government gives you a free iPad every two years because that's how much money it saves they can start spending on its citizens, legal citizens it cares about you so you got, you got your own iPad. Hell yeah, man. Thankfully, given by a private sector called Apple. Thanks, Apple. Government's not that smart. But the government could work with the private sector to implement this. And 
it could be rolled out by the year 2100. I don't think it would even take that long to roll a system out like that, you know? It's already here. We just need to confiscate Facebook. Just pay, pay a, like a billion dollars, five billion dollars. Money talks. And I'm sure if we, we paid them like even a trillion, a trillion dollars, give us, give us it for a trillion dollars. Would you sell something for a trillion? Oh, hell yes. Hell yeah. I would, I would sell everything here for one trillion. Are you? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Sell my soul. I would become a sex slave. I would, I would sell my children for a trillion dollars. Hell fucking yes. Give me that money. So money to what would I do it for? A hundred? Five hundred thousand? Five million? Five billion? Yeah, that's a lot of money, but five trillion? Yeah. You cannot live without me. That's true shit. If anyone would be saved on this earth, I would be saved. I wouldn't want to die and go see Jesus. Ah, cause man, I, I got shit to do. So I don't like to add many things to my beats. So here we are, man. So we got our live, a live TV. I wish I had this as a kid. This was not possible 20, 30 years ago, man. Not possible. Look, we got Springs, Springs TV. Got all kinds of beautiful stuff. Is this what's on USA right now at 6.52? in the morning on August 3rd 2018 651 is it Chicago PD it's got 300,000 likes now we got chat and we can participate as we watch TV who doesn't want that who doesn't want that man I wanted this since a kid you just, you just got to be updated. I'm sure if you could, you would. There's reasons why you're not. And those reasons are the reasons what's stopping you. From becoming the person you want to be. And look, I can't say... You did it to yourself, but you're not going to change because you got here from the choices you did. I'm going to continue smoking weed. Because it makes me dumb. And I'm going to continue doing my morphine. Because it makes me a druggie. And I will continue singing my foot loose. Because I believe in the devil. So. Yeah, you will follow me. That's the strange shit of this whole thing. Hey, what do you got to lose, man? Besides your ignorance. I mean, if you got ignorance, we don't want you here anyway. Fuck off. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Why does it smell like ass in here? 
on your side. Which one of you adults shit their pants? No one's gonna say it, but we can all smell it. And <clears throat> luckily, you know, I ain't got shit running down my leg. Must be one of you. Who's gonna clean this shit up? Well, hopefully, uh, whoever it is can get home and their nana can change their diaper. And then when the technology system sees that there's no one in this bus mobile it will start spraying it down with liquids in like a hot dishwasher will sterilize it like a hot dishwasher and then it opens up after your stinky ass and disease left it smells fresh like pine salt because who wants to smell you all day you got a problem. Technology doesn't got a problem. Technology is your savior. You should start believing in technology because it saved your ass. You just got to admit it. Admit it. That at least 50% of your day is near technology. You use technology in your day.